One piece of paper threatened to end a man's 20-year career, so he called Fact Finder 12, and investigator Devin Fassbinder got results. Her investigation is new this morning. It's a document the U.S. Department of Transportation requires for certain truck drivers, and only a board-certified orthopedic surgeon or physiatrist can fill it out. But what if they won't? One man found himself in that situation when he called us. Though he grew up in Lindsborg, <laughs> Warren Erickson's home is right here in his truck. It's been over a million miles. Like most truck drivers, he has an appreciation for the road, the big rig, and other traffic. But one thing makes him unlike many others. But, it, but it's, it's, it's honestly like just wearing a pair of pliers. Hmm. It truly is. Erickson has a prosthetic hand. I do understand having a disability. You know, I've had this since 14. I won't do things exactly the same way you will because you have two hands. Though he does things a bit differently, he passed every test to get his license to drive. Well, what I don't understand is if I can pass the same driving test as you or you or any truck driver in the same truck, why do I need that? He's talking about this form called the Skilled Performance Evaluation Certificate. The federal government requires drivers like Erickson with a missing limb or other disability to fill it out every two years. But after Erickson's former doctors retired and changed practices, he couldn't find someone to fill out one part. This part, if you'll read up here, it has to be done by a ortho, or board certified orthopedic surgeon or a physiatrist, whatever that is. Erickson called doctors all over Kansas who refused, saying there were liability concerns. That's when he called Fact Finder 12. I found a doctor in Wichita at Advanced Orthopedics willing to help. Now Erickson can drive as he pleases, at least until 2018. But for Erickson, it's not just about getting a form filled out. He thinks this rule is discrimination because his limb difference doesn't affect his ability to drive. The doctor here told Erickson other doctors may have been confused about what he needed, and once it was explained, it wasn't a problem to give him the exam. Do you have a problem that you can't resolve? Give Fact Finder 12 investigators a chance to look into the facts and see if we can help. Send an email to investigators at kwch.com or call us at the number you see there on your screen, 831-6166.